Hello everybody, I'm Sushant, a VA faculty with Elite's Grid. This video is one of the many we'll upload to help you guys solve some of the RCs that we give to you. The, this one on the screen that, uh, that I'll show to you is the one that we had given in our RC test one. So I'll just give you, okay, I'll give you a three second pause so that you guys can stop the video and uh, stop the video look at the passage and then we'll resume uh, with the questions that are there in the passage so here if you have a quick look at the passage i've highlighted for you guys uh, some of the words that that would be new for you guys and you should uh, really be knowing the meaning of these words and that will definitely help you comprehend the passage better and answer the questions very well so those words uh, that i've highlighted i've mentioned their meaning as well i'll just again wait for two three seconds so that you can pause the video of the words okay coming back to question number one so the question uh, the first question said according to the passage the ideology of female benevolence was consistent with women taking part in each of the following spheres of activity except the first option says organized the second says domestic the third one was electoral the fourth was fundraising so if you have a quick look at the passage and the last line uh, the last four or five lines of the second paragraph that was there in the passage you'll realize that the <clears throat> that the straight answer to this question was electoral and i'll just uh, for for you guys i've highlighted the lines uh, which which directly refer to this question i'll read them but clinging to this ideology also prevented these women from even attempting to gain true political power because it implied a moral purity that precluded participation in the messy world of partisan politics so when when it says that they were not able to attempt true political power uh, it means that they were not able to uh, be a part of the electoral politics. Why I have uh, just just to give you a brief background as to why I am writing uh, all of these answers as well because uh, you guys might face a few issues with the voice or there could be one or two friends of ours uh, who might be physically challenged and are not able to hear my voice naturally so just to make sure that everybody understands the passage well uh, i've just uh, written down whatever uh, whatever i'm saying as well question number two choose the answer option that best describes the meaning of the word altruism used in the passage so uh, it was a very easy question if you knew the meaning of the word however uh, if you didn't know the meaning and still wanted to attempt this then what you can do is whenever such questions come to you you can refer back to the passage where this word is used so i'll what i've done is i've highlighted uh, the lines where these uh, passages came so these were the lines in contrast to the day-to-day -day reality of the work the idealized image of female benevolence lent a sentimental and gracious aura of altruism to the very real authority and privilege that some women commanded now come to the options uh, when you when you read these lines uh, i've highlighted gracious aura of altruism so go through go through the options that were given to you uh, the three options that were given to you were selfishness, unrealistic, and palatable. Apart from, uh, apart from the answer choice that was there with us, that was selflessness. So, uh, can you associate selfishness, unrealistic, or palatable uh, to any of uh, gracious aura? I am sure you cannot associate gracious aura with with you know. Uh, selfishness or unrealistic or palatable and hence uh, you could have derived to an answer of selflessness as well moving on the third question uh, that we had was information in the passage suggests that the author would be most likely to agree with which of the following statements concerning the cult of female domesticity 
uh, I'll just explain you what the what the question wanted did you to answer. It just wanted you to answer what is the main concept of the author or the person who's written this passage. So when you when you refer the first option that you have, it says the cult of female domesticity developed independently of the concept of benevolence of female benevolence. So uh, I'll just contradict this for you through uh, through one of the lines uh, that is written in the passage only. So the line is ironically this ideology of female benevolence empowered women in the realm of social activism enabling them to escape the confines of their traditional domestic spheres. So I'll just read uh, whatever I've highlighted again enabling them to escape the confines of their traditional domestic spheres. So this means that both female <coughs> domesticity and the concept of female benevolence they went hand in hand uh, female benevolence rose and that is when uh, they wanted to come out of that to traditional domestic sphere okay so th this is how you can eliminate option one then coming back to option two which says the original motivation behind the promotion of the cult of female domesticity was to exclude women from partisan politics uh, you can exclude this uh, even from the first question and when you read the last four or five lines of paragraph two in passage uh, in the passage uh, you will see that it was their own it was their own will to not include themselves in partisan politics you know they they wanted to not be a part of the messy world of politics and that is why they uh, you know or not to be a part of the electoral politics then comes the uh, the third choice the cult of female domesticity incorporated ideological elements that actually helped some women to escape from their traditional domestic roles so this is the correct option choice why we say this is the correct option choice is read the highlighted words again <clears throat> it says enabling them to escape the confines of their traditional domestic spheres so the female benevolence that arose empowered women empowered women in the society to enable them to escape their traditional domestic spheres and hence your option c was directly correct i know you could have uh, solved this very easily had you gone straight to the uh, to the lines where it's in the passage where this is mentioned uh, but then uh, you know i am uh, trying to help you out eliminate all options so that uh, whenever we give our more difficult uh, passages you are able to easily and solve your passages with elimination option as well coming back to the fourth question which of the following best summarizes the main point of the passage the identification of femininity with with morality promoted the notion of women's moral purity while excluding women from positions of authority in their communities so again the uh, when when it comes to authority when it comes to taking it was their own decision to not take part in politics and uh, it uh, it wasn't that they were forged or uh, or they weren't allowed to do that okay so that that is how you can eliminate option number 1 now come back to option number 2 the belief in women's innate moral superiority allowed women to exercise political power without participating in partisan politics no women women didn't wish for a uh, political power it is nowhere mentioned in the passage that they were getting a uh, political power as well so again you can eliminate this option then the third option the cult of female domesticity helped some women to gain power and privilege but kept most women confined to the domestic sphere so uh, women's gained power and privilege but have to be confined to their domestics uh, they were gaining confidence and definitely getting out of their traditional domestic spheres as we had uh, discussed in answer three as well so uh, this is how you can eliminate option c as well then uh, the fourth line which says the ideology of female benevolence embarred for men in the realm of social activism but placed limits on their direct political power yes this is uh, this is correct because only because of female benevolence you know that they did not want to enter the 
messy world of partisan politics uh, because they knew they would somehow have to their their own hands would get dirty if they enter the uh, if they enter politics question 5 says it can be inferred from the passage that the author believes which of the following about women's relationship to politics in the 19th century united states so the first option says social activism was the best part to political power for women author never relates social activism to political power it is nowhere mentioned in the passage so you could have easily eliminated this second one says had women wished to seek true political power they would have had to abandon the ideology of female benevolence yeah this was the main reason why women didn't wish to enter the messy politics okay. so Uh, coming back to the second option had women wish to seek true political power they would have had to abandon the ideology of female benevolence yes correct this was the main reason why women didn't wish to enter messy politics and this is directly mentioned in the last three lines of the passage and uh, like we've discussed for question number 3 and 4 as well this was your correct answer had you not got the correct answer i i'll just help you to eliminate 3 and 4 as well women's desire for true political power was the primary cause of their eventually you you don't even need to read this uh, read the complete line when it says women's desire for true political power they 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 never desired for any political power that is directly mentioned okay come to the fourth line only women in positions of authority in their communities exercise political influence indirectly through men so this is firstly nowhere mentioned that uh, any woman exercise political influence and nowhere it is mentioned that they that they directly or indirectly used men to uh, to exercise that political power so i think this is all that we have for you for uh, the rc test one that we had uh, i hope you liked the solution uh, give a thumbs up if you did like it uh, and do subscribe to our page for uh, getting for the notifications to the videos we post thank you